Another human with a death wish. Welcome to the mall, tourist. Nice to meet you, too. I'm the sentry for Underworld. City of ghouls. Inside the museum. For a tourist, you're pretty clueless. My name's Willow, by the way. Sure did. Underworld. It's right inside the Museum of History and through the Big Skull. Most of the residents ain't crazy about humans, but they'll sell to you, fix you up so long as your caps are good and you ain't a ghoul hater. Those knuckle draggers? Nah, they don't bother us ghouls. Maybe they see us as kin or something, I don't know. Now those other assholes. Yeah, you know, those humans like you. Well, maybe not like you, I don't know, but humans all the same. The Brotherhood of Steel guys with their testosterone and power armor. Those psycho talent company mercs. Those other assholes. Come on, here you are in the mall of our nation's fine capital. Taking in the sights, visiting the monuments. Face it. You're a tourist. Till next time, sightseer. Would you look at that? We got us a smooth skin visitor. Ooh, we we ain't seen one of your type in a long time. Smooth skin? You know, because your skin is so smooth and tasty. Relax, I'm just kidding. But I had you going, didn't I? You're in underworld, smooth skin. It's the only safe place for we ghouls in DC. We're here out of sight and out of mind. The mutants leave us alone, and the slavers usually don't come this far into the city, so it's not bad. Really, the Brotherhood of Steel is the only thing we have to worry about. So long as we don't leave Underworld, that is. Bastards. They don't seem to be able to tell us apart from the super mutants. Or maybe they just don't care. They see us and shoot on sight. At least they have the common courtesy to miss most of the time. Still, bigots. That's right. As long as you don't bother us, we won't bother you. Feel free to come and go, trade, sleep, whatever. Just make sure that you leave whatever trouble is following you at the door. Because we don't want it. So enjoy your stay, smooth skin. Enjoy your stay. Just try and keep from shooting up the place. We got a nice little deal going on down here. We'd like to keep it nice. I used to think it was all so much bullshit, but then I got this holiday. Here, listen to it yourself. Me? I keep every hunk of old rust and pre-war garbage around here in operating condition. We've got lights, water, and ventilation all running off the old crap they used to keep this place going for the tourists. I've managed to keep it going so far, but, well, I'm not sure how long I can keep it up. We've scavenged just about all the scrap metal from all the places we can safely get to. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Hell, not before long I'm gonna have to disassemble poor old servers from parts. Hey, you get around, don't you? Tell you what, you bring me back any scrap metal you find out there, and I'll trade you whatever I can. 
We can work out a trade. We've got some stuff around here that we don't need, but a smooth skin like you might make use of. Well, all right. That's good to hear, stranger. Just come on back to me when you've gathered some scrap metal. You'll find it just about anywhere. On junked robots, in old buildings, you name it. And not a moment too soon. For every five bits of scrap metal you give me, I'll give you a stim pack, some right away, or a dose of radix. I need scrap, you need goods. We both win. Can you pay me? Then I can repair your stuff. We were driven underground, um, almost 50 years ago now. Between the super mutants, the beasts, and you crazy humans, it's not safe up there. So we stay down here, out of sight and out of trouble. We get a few smooth skins every so often, but most of us don't trust them. You're not gonna give us more reasons not to be trusting, are you? Let me know if you have any of that scrap metal to sell. What makes you think we've got something There are a to lot sell? more of us down here than there are of you, smooth skin. to your people. Truth is, I spent most of my time away from Underworld. You too, stranger. I know a lot of people around here don't take kindly to humans wandering around, but I've met a lot of your people in my travels. Yeah, just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. Bye. Can't ever get ahead. Jesus Christ! Don't, don't sneak up on me like that. Last fella, last fella to do that damn near lost my arm. You're new here, yeah. You must be since you're actually talking to, talking to me. I'm Patchwork. You're just Patches if you like that. I'm, shit, I forget. Who, me? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I'll be okay. I just... I just need to try not to lose any more of my parts this time. And Doc Barrows says that he's... He's getting tired of putting them back on. So, you know. If you see any, just bring them back. You sure? Some... Some people make me hurt myself, because uh, it makes them laugh. What can you tell me about? What, wait, what? Why you want to head on over to the Ninth Circle and talk to Mr. Azrakal? He, he, uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the generators. I don't know where they are. You'll have to ask Winthrop. <sighs> Bye. It's down here that there are a few schools. That's it. <laughs> Civilian on deck. I am Cerberus. It is my solemn duty to guard the citizens of Underworld against any and all threats, both foreign and domestic. So, yes, I'm the guard dog. This is a town full of peace-loving ghouls, so check your bigotry at the door. They're just like humans. They feel, they hurt, they bleed. They deserve the same love and respect as any human, and don't you forget it. At least that's what they programmed me to say. Personally, 
I think they're a bunch of rotting zombie maggot farms, and I'd send them all back to hell if I could. Damn this combat inhibitor! Negatory! I have been programmed to remain on premises at all times. In the event of hostilities, I will respond with deadly force. Go, Underworld! Go, ghouls! Damn this pansy zombie programming. Resuming patrol. Hello. Patchwork. Good to see you. Yeah, what is it? Oh. Oh my, someone new. I'm, I'm so sorry. You must think I'm terribly rude. Welcome. Welcome to Carol's place. I'm Carol. It's not much, I know, but it's mine. So if you need it, it... You're not... Well, hello. It's always good to see a cust. Gob? Yes, of course. He's my son. Well, not really. Not like you would think of a son. We ghouls don't really work like that. But I love him like he's my own. Do you know him? Have you seen him? Is he all right? That's... that's terrible. But at least I know he's alive. So that's something. If you get up that way again, tell him that I said I miss him and that I love him. But he shouldn't try to escape. It's too dangerous. No, no, he should stay put where he is. I couldn't bear the thought of him getting hurt. That's right, her and I have been together for... Oh, about 60 years now. But things haven't really been the same since Gob left. He was like a son to me. I think Greta was always a little jealous of him. Oh, that's such a long story. You couldn't possibly want to hear about that. Okay, but it's nothing special. I was born in 2051, so yes, that makes me a pre-war ghoul. I do. I was in a shelter with my father when the bombs hit. In D.C., we had the luxury of getting a warning after the West Coast was... one family, and I looked up and called his name. There was a flash of light brighter than anything you could imagine. I woke up a few hours later. The first thing I did was run up to where my father had been. He... he was gone. But the strangest thing, there was his shadow burned into the wall so crisp and like he was standing next to me. The heat had burned it into the concrete. I don't know how it happens. Dr. Burroughs says it was radiation. All I know is that people kept showing up here in the museum. After things calmed down above ground, we tried to live down here as best we could. After a while, things got strange. My skin started to get dry and flake off. Everyone's did. It took a while. Months. Maybe a year. But sooner or later, everyone ended up like this. Some of them went crazy. Some of us just accepted it. After a while, other ghouls would find their way in here, and Underworld just sort of grew. No one bothered us down here. We were happy enough to leave them alone. And once my Greta showed up, it was a good enough life for me. The city was on fire for weeks, maybe months, I don't know. I hid down here in the museum. It was the closest building to the shelter I was in. I couldn't 
could hear what was happening above. People howling like animals, chaos, looting, killing. It's like every foul thing inside of them came out. It was a nightmare. I... I don't want to talk about it. You tell the same story for 200 years, you'll feel pretty uninteresting too. No? Oh, 120 caps, I guess. Okay, it's right over there, middle room. You come back real soon now. Say, there are a lot more of us down here than there are of you, Smooth. You just behave yourself. Hey there. I've been here since we founded the town. Before that, well, life out in the wastes wasn't very pleasant for us. But so long as we stay down here, we can live our lives as people, not monsters. I think things are better this way for everyone. You... with that radio. the ninth circle. Folks got problems, and I got liquor to sell them. Well, liquor and a few other pick-me-ups. Huh? You need anything, uh, you just let me know. That's Sharon. Let's just say, well, he's a loyal employee. Don't mess with me, and he won't mess with you. Very well. You ask too many questions as it is. Why, whatever do you mean? I'm a simple barkeep. Nothing more. Ah, an educated consumer. My favorite kind. Yes, yes, I think I can help you. Simply... Step over here, my friend, and I'll show you my stock of more potent goods. While there is no law in Underworld, per se, I'd rather not end up at the receiving end of an angry lynch mob. There's no shortage of do-gooders around here, and it would be just like them to take it upon themselves to interfere in a fair business transaction. Honestly, I have something to sell, and you want to buy it. Now, why is that anyone else's business, huh? 
As you wish, my friend. Everyone's got troubles, and everyone brings them to me. No, go talk to Azraka. I don't care. Back for more, eh? What can I get for you? It's the only place in the capital wasteland where my people can escape the misery of the world above. And that misery, well, it makes a man like me very happy and very, very wealthy. That's Sharon. Let's just say, well, he's a loyal employee. Don't mess with me, and he won't mess with you. I hold his contract, which makes me his employer. He will do what I ask, when I ask, without question. You see, Sharon grew up around a very interesting group of individuals. They, well, I guess you could say that they brainwashed him. He is absolutely loyal to whomever holds his contract. Unfailing, unflinching, until the day that employment ends. Don't get me wrong. I have no doubt that he holds no end of animosity towards me. But so long as he is my employee, he is as gentle as a teddy bear. No, he is not. Sir, you insult me. I do not believe in slavery. It is an abomination. I am a firm believer in personal choice. To force another person into bondage is unthinkable. Chains are earned, never forced. Sharon made some choices that landed him in my employ. The matters of our contract is between him and I, no one else. Oh, would you now? He is a highly valuable asset to me and to the Ninth Circle. What did you have in mind? I suppose we could do that, uh, although you might not like the deal that I have to offer. You see, I don't like competition. Not at all. It goes against every principle that I have as a businessman. So the fact that there is another source for booze in town troubles me. Greta, the waitress over at Carol's. I want you to kill her. I don't care how. Just make it quiet. Do it, and you can have Sharon's contract. Loyal employee that he is, Sharon would do it without question if I asked him to. However, the entire town would come down on me for it. Greta is quite popular around here. If Sharon is the one who kills her, everyone will know that it was me who ordered Greta's death. I need Sharon clearly visible and in public when Greta dies so that I can fairly claim ignorance of the situation. No stomach for hard work, eh? No matter. If you don't want to do the job, then come up with the cash. Otherwise, I'll just hang on to this contract. Yeah, just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. I knew you'd change your mind. Just remember, Sharon is a valuable asset to me and he doesn't come cheap. Are you ready to deal? <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> come back when you have a serious offer. I suppose that could work, yes? Yes. Here's the contract. 
and I'll take my payment in full. I'll give you the pleasure of informing Sharon yourself. Talk to. You purchased my contract from Razrakal. So, I am no longer in his service. That is good to know. Please, wait here. I must take care of something. As recall, I am told that I am no longer in your service. Yes. All right, let's go. As recall was an evil bastard. So long as he held my contract, I was honor bound to do as he commanded. But now you are my employer, which freed me to rid the world of that disgusting rat. And now, for good or ill, I serve you. Oh my God. Jesus, what did Azrakal do? What is it? Very well. Tastes like centaur. About time someone did that. We don't get a lot of humans in here. If you want something to eat, you should order it quick, hun. The stew just stopped moving. To tell you the truth, hun, I don't really know much about it. All I know is that it used to be some sort of exhibit. Something about hell or the afterlife or something. Tulip knows that sort of stuff. Not like anyone around here ever buys anything from that shop of hers. If you're lucky, maybe it's gone rancid already. Pleasure doing business with you. You humans have so. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I want to talk. What the hell did you wake me up for, Smooth Skin? What are you staring at? You think you'd never seen a ghoul up close before? Is that so? Even if I call you a milk sucking, mutant loving, water stealing son of a whore? That's it. Run away like a smooth-skinned coward. Why the hell did you wake me? It's a place for ghouls, not humans. We don't especially like humans. It's a... Bye.
You smell that. It's so weird here without Azrakal. Well, hello again. Let me... What makes you think we've got something to say to one another? Hey, how's it going? Hey, oh, hello, my boy. Let hey, man, what's happening? Welcome to the Chop Shop. I'm Nurse Graves, Dr. Borrow's assistant. Don't let our place's name fool you. The doctor is very good with injuries, dismemberments, and trauma. If you require any stim packs or blood packs, let me know. Bye. Dr. Barrows, at your service. What brings you to the Chop Shop? Come to lend me a hand, I hope. I can always use fresh human samples. You haven't heard? I'm the foremost authority on ghoul evolution. I want to know what makes us tick. Something doomed us to this rotting form, and I aim to discover what it is. So, I need samples of human skin, organs, and other parts to make the experiments valid. Pity. Well then, what can I do for you? They say old Pinkerton at Rivet City somehow got his hands on a lipoplasticator and a microdermal graftalizer. Amazing, really. I think I can help you out. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, see you. Tamper with that, and we're gonna have a problem. since I had a customer. Well, we spend it at Carol's, or the Ninth Circle. But I don't like it there. The rest we give to Quinn to trade for stuff we need whenever he goes out. Well, yeah, there's a lot of old pamphlets and stuff down here. I've pretty much read it all. It used to be part of the Museum of History. The exhibit that used to be here was focused on what happens after death, hell and whatnot. A lot of it was focused on this old book called Paradise Lost. It's about a guy who goes to hell. Pretty interesting stuff. I found a big box of copies of the book in one of the back rooms. Here, take one. Nobody around here wants them. At first it was just a couple people after the war. This was one of the only places that wasn't falling down or on fire after the bomb spell. I think that Carol is actually one of the few that were here then. But over the years, word got around. There had been ghouls living in little pockets all around. Not really so much anymore. Most of them either went feral or 
ended up here. I'm sure there are still a few out there, but anyone with any sense is in Underworld. Not really. The super mutants leave us alone. I guess whatever they do that turns people like them doesn't work on us. The Brotherhood of Steel will fire on us if we're out in the open, but they don't bother us down here. We've had some raiders and slavers poke their heads in, but we've got Sharon and Cerberus and everyone else to take care of them. I guess when it comes down to it, being this far out of everyone's way is a good deal for us. Come back any time. It's kind of lonely down here. Sure thing, human. A pleasure doing business with you. Come back soon, please. Yes, what is it? Very well. Are you certain that this is what you wish? Very amusing. I shall follow. Don't let this never get to you. I hope you don't mind the smell. I know how sensitive you Oh, I just got back to see you. What are you looking at? Everyone's got to be a comedian. Say, for someone who hasn't seen many ghouls before, you don't seem too bothered. I could use someone like you. How would you feel about working for a ghoul? Not everyone is as sympathetic to ghouls as you are. In fact, some humans are downright bigots. They treat us like zombies, calling us brain eaters and shufflers. Well, I'm gonna make them pay. Uh, before I get into the details, you don't have anything against killing me. I guess you aren't the right type. Hey there. This place is coming down.
to you, you know. Humans have such strange anatomy. Hey there. I'm afraid she's going to be out for a while. She's not well at all. Don't worry, though. I'm sure the rest of Riley's Rangers will show up soon and take her home. Oh, you must be new around here. They're a mercenary company that bases itself out of the DC ruins. I'm assuming she's their leader, Riley. What was left of her armor had her name stenciled on it. She was in a pretty bad way when they found her outside Underworld. Oh, very well. I'll do what I can. I just hope her body can withstand the strain. Humans are so fragile. Why are you just standing... What? Where am I? What happened? How long have I been out? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? That isn't very funny. If my guys were here, they'd kick your... Oh shit! My team! What the hell happened? That's not the way I do things. Do you have any idea what it would do to my reputation if word got around that Riley of Riley's Rangers was laid up in a hospital bed? You're pretty sharp, kid. We packed plenty of firepower, but that didn't help us from getting our asses into serious trouble. I didn't expect to make it out of there alive. I feel worse than I look, but that doesn't even matter to me. I'm just worried about the rest of the Rangers. I don't even know if they're still alive. We were mapping the Vernon Square part of the downtown ruins and got jumped by a super mutant ambush party. Usually it isn't a problem, but this group was bigger than usual. We fought our way into Our Lady of Hope Hospital, hoping to find cover. You got it. More of the ugly bastards just kept coming. We fought our way to the roof and found a way across to the Statesman Hotel next door. The super mutants seemed driven, like they smelled blood. They kept following us. Once in the hotel, the only way to go was up. Look, I don't know what your problem is, but I got three guys alone out there with an army of super mutants around them. Either help me by listening or get the hell out of my sight. I am not here to be judged by you or anyone else. Now, like I was saying, we had to fight our way up towards the roof of the Statesman. Very bad move, but we had no choice. On the way, we lost Theo, one of my guys. We were unable to get the ammo case off of his body as we were pushed onwards. So, guns almost dry, we hit the roof of the Statesman. Actually, we did lay down a bunch of countermeasures. I don't know how many of them have already gone off, though. When I slipped out with my stealth boy, I think I almost tripped one or two of them. Damn near didn't make it out of there at all, come to think of it. No, there is no way my guys are dead. If there's even the slimmest chance of surviving, they'll do it. If you won't go, stop wasting my fucking time and find me someone who will. Get the Rangers home, please. It's all I want. I don't care how you do it. Whew. I was holding my breath on that one, I think. I wasn't sure what you were going to say. All I ask is that you hurry. I don't know how much longer they will be able to survive up there. I also recommend you try and find the body of Theo, one of my men. He was carrying our main ammo supply. Here. Let me punch the ammo box code in some better directions into your pit boy there. We have a headquarters not far from here. If you can make it there, you're welcome to anything you need inside. Just punch in Riley0247 at the gate. We have ammo, supplies, you name it. We were mapping the Vernon's... Usually... 
Watch yourself. Those ruins are badass. Yes, what is it now? Nothing. Why? What have you heard? You've heard something, haven't you? Damn. Double damn. We finally got someone to kill them humans. Someone believed that pack of lies he's been spreading. Well, I just hope they talk to those poor folk before knocking them off. She's a very lucky young lady not to have suffered damage from her coma. She'll be just fine as long as she takes it easy. Oh my, that's a dangerous part of the DC ruins. Every patrol Underworld has sent even near that zone has come back in bad shape, or hasn't returned at all. I think... You be careful. This list of people. Ghoul pickets. Real scum. I've only got four guys left on the list. Started with eleven. All of them hate ghouls and treat us like we're zombies. They all deserve to die. But it has to be done with a headshot. Just like the old stories where zombies can only be killed that way. I'll give you a hundred caps for each of them. If they die some other way, I'm only paying twenty-five, though. Excellent. Take this sniper rifle. You'll need it. Here's a list of the guys in their last known locations. Word will get around if ten petty's killed, but I'll need proof for the others. Bring me back something personal from each of them as proof. Like a key or a ring or something. You're a nosy little bastard, aren't you? It's true. Ten Penny is a bigot, but the others aren't. All I want are those keys. Just bring me the keys and I'll give you the full price anyway. How about an extra hundred caps to seal the new deal? Good. Oh, and I still want Ten Penny dead. That bastard really does hate ghouls. Yeah, see. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at that, a human, with hair. Hey, you think we could do something about that? Yeah, man, that's what I do, I cut hair. I know, I know you look around here and there ain't a lot of work to show off, right? These corpses only got half a head of the stuff, so I never get a chance to work on a full head. Come on, no charge. I know he doesn't sell jet, bastard. You want to know about Crowley? Go ask Quinn or Greta. I don't follow the gossip around here like they do. I prefer stylist myself, but whatever works for you. Everyone has a gift, you know? I used to live in Rivet City. Folks there had enough money for me to do okay. But after I, uh, changed, no one would let me touch them. I ended up here. Of course, a ghoul with a barbershop makes about as much sense as a screen door on a submarine, so... Pocket. I just took up Jet. At least it passes the time, you know? Well, yeah. So, what else do I have to do except get high? You think that I need to be sober to cut a ghoul's hair? Half the work is cutting the skin off. These guys don't care how they look anyway. They just humor me. Remember. No charge. Yeah, what is it? Hey man, what's happening? Yeah? The back room renter? Oh, he 
is a swell guest. So polite, too. Never gets mad at anyone. I've been letting that room to him for about a year now. Well, he does keep talking about how he's going to make his fortune soon. He says as soon as he finds some wastelander to do his dirty work, he'll be set for life. I think it's just the whiskey talking, vile stuff. some serious pre-war tech on their hands. They nabbed a lipoplasticator and a microdermal graftalizer for the facial reconstruction. Not sure where they'll find a chopper with enough skills to use it without making him look like a freaking ghoul. Oh, and get this. Can you believe they found a circuit neuralizer? That or someone built one. Word is that they're going to completely rewire the brain of one of those things. If you know who they got working on this, let me know. I want to meet the guy.
glad that's over. Thank you.
cautious. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. Maybe. Let's take a look. Thanks. Walk well, friend. Good to see you.
Be careful.
back. That's it. That's it. What do you need? Very well. That's it. That's it. Ow. Bring it! Oh, 
That's over. Want some of it?
Yes, what is it? Hey you, get your ass over here before you attract every super mutant in the building. The name's Butcher. 
I'm the team medic. It's good to see a friendly face. Okay now, who the heck are you and when are reinforcements coming? Sorry, no can do. I used the last of my supplies on us when we got to the roof. I can still put a bullet through a super mutant skull though. Now, what's up with Riley? She okay? That's a relief. I told her she was nuts when she decided to try to sneak out of here. Guess I was wrong. Now, let's talk about getting out of here. I would have proposed going back the way you came, but apparently it's impossible now. So, the express elevator is our only solution. You're right, what we need is something to power the elevator motor up here and get the thing going. On the way up here, I'm pretty certain we passed a maintenance room. Inside was a wrecked protectron. If you can get me its fission battery, I can have Donovan jury rig the elevator. Fantastic! Get that over to Donovan right away. As soon as he gets it up and running, make a break for it. Remember, our rally point is our HQ, Ranger Compound. Don't stop for anything. Well, Brick's the name, and I call this fine-looking room sweeper Eugene. We've had a lot of fun together mowing down super mutants, but I think it's time we get off this roof. The other guys hate mapping this zone, but hey, I love it. I love turning the muties into a fine red mist with my gun. Skill, baby. Pure skill. And my big-ass gun. Oh, hell yeah! Don't worry. Me and Eugene's got your back. Hey there. Donovan at your service. You break it, I fix it. Thanks. I was starting to... All I can tell you is this place sucks. I hope we never have to map another inch of it. By the seat of our pants, we are out of everything. Ammo, food, and time. I have no idea how we made it this long, but damn, I am glad you got up here. Not really. All I remember is passing that maintenance office on the third floor. Sorry, we were under fire the whole time. Otherwise, I would have cleaned the place out. Yep, no problem. What do you need? And I shall follow. Back so soon? Come, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Thanks. I'd say it was a whole lot of luck. We set as many traps as we could behind us and killed as many super mutants as possible. Being able to fend off the last wave of them made the rest more cautious, but it also drained our ammo. It's only a matter of time before they rally, especially since you punched through their lines. There's something about this area. I can't put my finger on it, but just like the mall, there's an unusually high concentration of super mutants. If I had the time and resources I'd investigate, all I care about now is getting the hell off this damn roof. We're mercs, but instead of hunt and destroy, we map the ruins for sale to the highest bidder and make a good living at it, too. There were five of us in the company until we lost Theo. When we passed the maintenance room, I spied a deactivated Protectron inside. Just wrench open its access panel and you'll find it. Let's get a move on. What can I do you for? Let me have that thing. Give me a few minutes, and I'll have the elevator up and running. As soon as I get it online, we'll get out of here.
That's it. That's it. Need you to mess with me. Price is right. A 
pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. What's happening? I've got just the thing for you. Do you want to see it? Please say yes. I'm not going to rat on a customer unless you, you know. Ooh, a big spender. Well, it's better than nothing. Crowley has been outfitting himself for some big expedition. He's up to something. But he isn't saying what. A pleasure doing business with you. Come back. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you buying it. Yes, 
us what is it now, please. Sure. Hey. I think. Give me a shot if you need anything. Huh? Hey, you. What? That's humans for you. Always a goddamn Well, hello again. Who? That's not gonna work. Is there anything? Who? Is Can you paint? And now... Let me know. 